and an impressive winning start as well for another of the relegated sides, Wigan. They went to Barnsley and they've come away with all three points, helped themselves to four goals as well. Barnsley had Dale Jennings sent off on his debut today. Uh, it sounds totally emphatic. Were Wigan that impressive, Ian? Well, they were certainly second half, the first... 15 minutes of the second half, they, they, they tore uh, Barnsley apart. I think Dave Flickcroft will be disappointed because they never really got after Wigan at all. I mean, you know, they had that three in midfield, McCarthy, um, Watson and MacArthur, and they popped that ball around. Bosch is always a threat. And they were also a bit different than they had last year. had somewhere, when they fired it forward, it did go forward, into the lights of hole. He stuck and he brought people into play. So, it was, in the end, it could have been worse. You know, they could have scored more goals, but they were clinical finishing. Watson was superb throughout. And... The, the great thing about it was they brought a little cameo on from McManaman, who, who in 20 minutes was sensational. I mean, he tore the fullback apart in the last 20 minutes and could have set up two or three more goals. So, all round, very, very good display. I, I like the look of Perch at centre half with Leon Barnett, who was outstanding and got himself a goal. So, I think Owen Coy will be delighted. Looked, to, looked a good, balanced team. Yes, they passed, but they had a little bit more intent for me when they got the ball wide. They were quite happy to put it into the box, and that was the difference with Grant Holt in there. Well, you know, was there any glimmer of hope as far as Barnsley supporters are concerned, or does it look like a, another long season of struggle? They only survived, of course, on the last day last season. Well, it, it, it looks like a long, long season for me. I mean, the defence didn't look great at times. You know, they didn't have a. O'Grady, I've seen being excellent, but he just didn't get into the game, and, and they didn't have the ball. Him and you know, him and Dagnall were, were normally quite lively and bright. They had no service at all. You couldn't really judge as an attacking force because they didn't have enough of the ball. But for me, I think. There'll be a long, hard season. But, you know, their home form has been fantastic under Dave Flickcroft. And it was a very un-David Flickcroft performance. I've seen a lot of Barnsley last year at home. They were really at you. Today, they looked off the pace. It didn't get in, in Wigan's faces at all. And that'll be the disappointment for David Flickcroft because he's done a great job there. Mm. Uh, I mean, looking at Wigan, obviously, emphatic result today. Do you feel that squad has got sufficient strength to be... Bang there all season. Yeah, I do. I, do. I really do. I, I look at that. And you've got Emerson Boyce, who's a fan, you know, who, who, who I've had and Paul's had, fantastic right back. You know, they, they look powerful. Craney slipped in at left back. You know, Perch and, and Barnett looked a real threat. And they've got, you know, when you look on the bench, who they brought on, you know, McManam and McCann, they brought on Mark Antoine Fortune for, you know, there's a, there's a real depth to that squad. So for me, and you've got like game changers in Maloney and MacArthur and McCarthy, for me, they'll be. I think if you finish above Wigan, you might, you, you might find yourself as champions.